Hi guys and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Tanduka Zidese and on this channel we are talking everything personal finance. So on today's video I want to answer the question how do I buy a car on a second hand dealership. You know making sure that you do not get uh, you know a bad car after saving for that car because you really wanted to buy the car cash Okay, and more especially with these car dealerships that are not reputable That is very important for us because there's so many car dealerships around So you really really need to do your homework. So let's get on this video right away So the first thing that you should be doing is to check the price Okay of this car and once you've done that you check the retail value of this current car assuming we are in 2022 so saying this guy this car dealership is selling a 2015 model or a 2017 model or a 2018 model I don't know but just make sure that you check the retail value of the car okay current retail value of the car I'll leave the the, the link on this video that you can use to check the retail value of the car Number two, it is very important to make sure that the car has the DECRA report or you take the car yourself to be satisfied to your own satisfaction. Okay, that's number two. And if they do not allow you to do that, then that's a, you know, a red flag. You should move away from that deal. Leave that deal from the wet go. That's number two. Number three, they must give you the VIN number of the vehicle. You take this to the traffic department or you phone any insurer in South Africa, it's absolutely free to check if the car has never been involved in an accident before. Because these shady car dealers, they buy these cars from auction, cars that have been written off, cars that do not have airbags, cars that are just, you know, a no-no go and they re, you know, spray re whatever i'm not a mechanic so i wouldn't know the terms but they re whatever and they bring that car to life and they tweak the kilometers okay they tweak the mileage on the car they're very good they know how to do that they know who to do that with okay so that's what you need to do that's your homework so once you call your insurance or you go to the traffic department you can actually do them both just for you to be satisfied and to be confident and to you know do your research do them both why not do them both and if they don't give you the VIN number that's another red flag you should move away from that deal then I think the final step now is to test drive the car get a mechanic with you get someone that you trust that you know they know a lot about cars okay Give them the car to go with you and you guys test drive the car together. They'll tell you, you know, what speed they want to clock on the car. I know um, this other lady said as well that, she, you know, she knows, uh, you know, how to test even the car if it has never been involved in an accident by, by the sound of the doors when she closes that door and the other door on the other side then she can tell so that needs someone who's got an experience in the space someone who's a mechanic someone who's really really you know aware of of the cars and knows a lot when it comes to cars but do not just be excited because you saw this online it's a bargain it's a really really good price you really go there and the car is there and you are over excited and you just do the payment and you close the deal and two weeks after you've taken that car it's dead it gives you problems it gives you headache so please 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 do your research but remember none of anything I say on this video constitutes financial advice if you are looking for financial advice do speak to someone who is certified and registered with the FSCA if this video was really really helpful please give it a thumbs up do not forget to subscribe to my channel and thank you so much also feel free to comment on the comment section below and tell me what what else do you want me to talk about on my next video? Goodbye for now.